Let me just bring us back to the local scene. As you have a look at one story from within our borders. Now, the Kenya Film Classification Board has come out to voice its support for the new programming rules announced by the Communication Authority of Kenya, reiterating that media houses risk having their licenses revoked if they do not adhere to the set guidelines. The rules announced by CA have been received with mixed reactions, with media houses set to suffer a big blow in terms of revenue. Dennis Matara reports through irresponsible media content kfcd therefore welcomes the communication authorities of kenya action to gazette regulations designed to ensure that all players in the broadcast and film industries operate with a high sense of responsibility the Kenya Film and Classifications Board sentiments come in the wake of the announcements of stringent new rules by the Communication Authority of Kenya. The Communication Authority of Kenya has once again introduced a raft of new rules to govern the media industry. In the new rules, under the programming code for free-to-air radio and television services in Kenya, televangelists have been ordered not to seek offer to in the name of seed in exchange for prayers on TV or even radio and thereby not allowed to give their mobile number for such offerings. The preachers have also been banned from asking or trying to recruit followers into their faith by asking viewers and all listeners to get saved. Media houses have been hard hit even more with the tough new rules in addition to the watershed period set between 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. radio and TV stations should not hold or discuss a sex topic unless that topic is discussed within an educational program. The famous bastard segments on radio have also been banned with hosts ordered to inform the suspected cheating spouse and seek his or her permission to be part of the live conversation. No media house will air commercials consecutively for more than 14 minutes of airtime. All TV stations must have a sign language interpreter during their news bulletins. And all journalists will no longer be allowed to voice audio commercials or even appear in online advertisements. The media houses have been asked to comply with these new rules within the next six months.